This video is going to be about oxidation and reduction. So oxidation and reduction are really important concepts in uh, a lot of different biological reactions. So um, reactions that involve oxidation and reduction are called redox reactions. So in redox reactions, it's all um, about the electrons. So we really want to pay close attention where these electrons are going and where they're coming from. So, um, like I said, we have oxidation and we have reduction. So, with oxidation, you're going to be losing electrons. So, a really easy way to remember this is oil rig. So, this one would be for oxidation and this one would be for reduction. And so talking about the electrons, oil rig helps because its oxidation is loss, so it loses electrons, reduction is gain, so you're gaining electrons. So um, to kind of help illustrate this principle, we'll look at um, the formula, kind of general formula for cellular respiration. So it's going to be C6H12O6, which is glucose, plus six oxygens, give us six water molecules, and six molecules of carbon dioxide. So another way that you can kind of tell uh, if something's going to be oxidized or reduced is by the number of bonds to oxygen it has. So for example, we have this molecule of glucose right here. It has six oxygens, but that doesn't mean that um, you have necessarily a lot of bonds between carbon and that oxygen. Whereas with this carbon dioxide, we have one carbon with two oxygens, so that carbon is bound uh, to an oxygen four times because each bond between the carbon and the oxygen is a double bond. So since we're increasing the number of bonds to oxygen, we can say that glucose got oxidized to CO2. And so also in that process, it lost electrons. And so when we're losing electrons, something else has to be gaining those electrons. So you can tell if something's getting reduced if you increase the number of bonds that that molecule has to hydrogen, which is what happens here. So here there's no hydrogen with the oxygen, but here we do have hydrogen with the oxygen. So this is gonna be reduction, reduced, okay. And so now um, we have different names for the thing that's actually um, becoming reduced and the thing that's doing the uh, reducing. So, for example, since um, the glucose is becoming oxidized, so it's losing electrons, so that means something else has to be gaining them, so this is our reducing agent. Because through losing its electrons, it's causing something else to be reduced by gaining those electrons, so this is our reducing agent. And then the same thing goes for the oxygen, except it'll be our oxidizing agent because this oxygen is going to gain electrons from somewhere, which means that something else has to give up those electrons. So this oxygen is causing this glucose to give it its electrons, and so therefore this oxygen is the oxidizing agent. So just to review, oxidation is losing electrons, reduction is gaining electrons. The thing that's actually um, doing the uh, reducing uh, is the reducing agent which gets oxidized itself and the thing that's causing something else to become um, oxidized is the oxidizing agent but the oxidizing agent gets reduced. So it's a little confusing but you just have to work with it a little to kind of keep these definitions uh, straight in your head and then after that it should be uh, pretty straightforward. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu tutoring. Thank you.